one of the best ways you can get familiar with a tool like GreenShift is by trying to recreate a website. And that's what we did yesterday. During a live stream, we recreated the Gumroad website. It's part of a challenge that Jamie Marsland did on his live stream. He was kind enough to provide a Insta WP website, so we can do the challenge too. And you can find a link in the description if you would like to participate in the challenge as well. Now let's see how I did and let's get to it. All right, let's start the timer. So we're going to edit the site. And I want to recreate the header first. So as I said, I am already a little bit ahead because I already know what I want to do. So far, sorry that I am already a little bit cheating, I guess. I don't want to add this one. We're going to add a row and it needs to be a, I guess it would be a two column layout. And from that row, we will add this block in this section and we'll add a button in here and then another one. So we just duplicate, it's going to be login. Now I did forget something, so let's do that first. Because what I want to do, of course, is already getting the colors in. That would save me a lot of time. So we go to a green shift and then style book. We create a style book uh, for colors. Uh, this is the wrong place. So here we ha already have a little bit of an issue, right? Because we need to be in the theme settings. I want my primary color to be black. Oh, there's something very off. Um, black, secondary color, white, I guess. Uh, I said that it needs to be white. Maybe we can set it to pink. It doesn't really matter, I guess. We want our secondary button to be white and the text needs to be black on the secondary and the accent color will be yellow so there we have our initial setup we save and continue now on the home page uh, let's leave it as this we want to change the header pattern to something like this Dark, simple, seems about right. I don't know. Save and continue. For the footer, one, two, three column layout, a th default banner. So let's, oh, and this one is a three column layout. Um, also multiple, so we're going to choose. No, I don't want to open up this one. If I continue, I don't want any extra pages for now. So now we have our basic setup and we have still some time left. <clears throat> We're going to go to our editor again. And in the editor, we will go to our patterns and then our header pattern. And now we can change it more easily, I hope. Let's put this a little bit on the side. Let me put in a... So this is the default version. We don't want a logo in here. We do want our buttons. Now I don't want to use the default option. So that's a little bit done for nothing. So we're going to set um but it is full width so it can be a container instead of a row we can add a container in there and then put in our navigation and then we need two buttons in a container so we'll add a container and then add two buttons where's my container now No, I don't want that in there. I want 
container there. Let's switch for a button again. So we're gonna add in button. We're gonna just duplicate that one. Um, the background is going to be white. My polka free is going to be black. This one doesn't need to have a border radius at all. Doesn't seem to work right now. That's a shame. So we have to set it in here. And we set it all to zero. Then we grab our container and set a our parent container. So that needs to be one higher. There's no container in there, so we'll group them together, put it in around a container. And for the container, we're going to use, I guess, CSS Grid. Our uh, Flexbox is good enough. And also Flexbox for that one. I'm going to remove this one. And I want to have the between. And then if we hit save, then we can see it on our front end as well. So now it's from side to side. The font size, the default font size is different. We can change that in the settings later. Um, so we have this one already. And here it says login. And the other one is start selling. <laughs> this is a little bit of an issue. A Gutenberg issue, not a green shift issue. <laughs> you can't, I can't see my text in here. And I guess this is the wrong navigation. Can I pull in a other navigation? Before dash navigation. Yes, there it is. We can remove this one. And if we hit save, where's my button now? button login yes and the text needs to be black where is it stack row what the hell is happening i guess it's a bug so we just delete it Duplicate this one, set the first one to login, change the settings on this one. Uh, text needs to be black and the background needs to be white. And if we save now, it should be fine. Then we go back <coughs> and add or edit our front page. So there's a block. And at before we add a logo, because if you scroll down, all the navigation bar will stick. So we add a logo. Could it be the side logo? It isn't the side logo. Let's go for the Gumroad. 200. I guess this one is it. Let me make it as large as possible. Now it's using the default thingy. So we add a advanced image. And the advanced image will make sure... Uh, we need to make sure that it isn't in the header but above. We select it from the media library again. This is the white. Well, if this is the largest one, SVG. But I think we can't... <clears throat> change the svg but we can't ch can change the size so we set it to 100 view width so it will take on the view width we change the spacing around i think uh, this could also be set by default somewhere so we need to change that in a little bit so in top we'll be having one left and right we'll be having two padding i guess that's enough spacing for the navigation we're going to change it so we're going to edit the navigation and for the container we'll be adding a border a border of one pixel and then black it will add a top and a bottom border 
and for the container there needs to be a border as well we can also set it as the button then it will be more coherent so we set a black border now it isn't full black border so we need to change the settings a little bit uh, that needs to be only one side i thought there would also be an option uh, right they did it in a different way so from left to right add one black right one then also black and then we just don't want to change everything so we're going to do this a little bit manually left there will be one pixel black come on and right there will be one pixel black and so now we have changed our header we will go back to our front page that's in templates here it is <coughs> we didn't set our heading to be sticky so we need to set that to sticky uh, C and we can select this one because we are not having a container above it we need to set it in here position sticky and we set it to zero um, then we need to make sure that in our front page template see I thought this would be easier going back to uh, another page in our front page template we need to make sure that our we have a container wrapping it all so we'll add a or just select them all scroll all the way up and there should be a button to wrap it all in the container this means quite possibly that this will stick when we scroll down uh, let's hit save and view it on the front page now it isn't sticking uh, it doesn't matter let's go for the next section we'll delete that one and afterwards it is a two column layout so we go in here add a flex add a row but it is full width but it's fine of two column layout now i can't select anything in here because we need to add this as a parent so we're going to remove it and it needs to be grouped in a group and then it has the content width settings else it does, isn't available so now we can see it is available and we want the group itself this can stay the same it's fine um, it means that we can set this to full width the header to full width i think there's an easier way of setting this up but yeah let's ro roll with the punches as i sometimes say so there's a two column layout this is the next section uh, in there we have a row And it's full width and then we have a heading now there's 16 minutes left so if you're following along you are under pressure now oh, this is very bad ux design because i don't know when it's selected so i guess we need to make this a little bit larger how does your channel better work does that yes it does automatically update it's nice right i uh use mercury you can find it it's from elements uh let's see let's change the topography i want this to be huge Gig gigantic i was almost saying it in a dutch way uh and then we set the font rate to normal and then at afterwards we add a in three we add a text in there and then add afterwards we add a advanced button and the advanced button starts 
selling. Oh, wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yes, I was also nerding out about it. It's, it's very nice. Uh, let's see. Save. And that's why I usually have also another page open just to go easily to my theme settings because I saw a different difference in the button so we can change that immediately so here we have a button and what we would like to change is the amount of border we have we have a three pixel border and needs to be black the roundness of the border i meant then we hit save so that can be fixed right now uh, next up is the image on the right side there's also some gzip animations going on i don't think i have enough time to get them in there as well so we add the nice pink thingy and then we have that one in there so we add a border a border of one pixel and then set it to black so we have also a border around that one now i don't know why it, it doesn't go all the way to the end in here and i think the border is fine i do not don't think it's on the left and the right so that's a little bit awkward so we need to reset this one and this is where i think a lot of speed up can be saved um because some tools just give you the option to do everything at once at least from top to bottom or something so it makes it a little bit easier um anyway let's continue we add a another border to the first column and then we add it to the right and then we set a one pixel now we do have a row inside here we would like to change so we're going to change the background and because we set it up earlier we can just pick pink the only difficulties we have right now is that it isn't full width so we need to change that what we also can do is select our row and then change the background into a gradient and the gradient goes from where are my color options in here that is something that doesn't speed up my process but luckily there's also no color picker so this is silly this is basically this is very silly that doesn't work um, we can set it to yellow and perhaps we can change the size of this one to be 100 percent um, that can't be done because of some kind of setting in row uh, which makes our lives a little bit sillier so we will add a container in here and the container needs to be full width and in the container there will be two containers as well so we duplicate that one and in the first container our content will go in there and our second container our image will go in there so i need to recreate a little bit of the row because of some functionalities that i don't know by heart right now how to fix it uh, i do know how to fix it in here so we can set it to flex still there will be some issues and i can't undo it all uh, this is sad life let's add again a row because yeah that's just easier as you can see the uh, contents of this container is now not spilled in a correct way let's I want to select those and remove them in there again. Uh, this is really awesome. Couldn't work, not working with me. Now we can select the uh, row again. Row, full width. And then we can remove this one again. Container. That's... I don't know why i don't know how how i can set that the width is full sometimes it can be so easy right and then we can set our first column again with a background that we would like to have a background of pink and then the second column there we go that looks a little bit better sometimes if you're doing a race it gets hard to see how fast you need to go right uh, let's set it to uh, this one and this one can be a flex box and then we 
set it to center. And the same goes for the first column. We set it to flexbox and we want everything centered. Um, it needs to go from left to top to bottom and it doesn't need to be centered, it needs to be left aligned. Um, I guess in Gumroad there's a little bit more of spacing going on. Uh, let's see if we save this. I guess we can do that by adding a padding all around. Uh, say it refresh. So there we go. Hmm, the button doesn't look good. Let's fix that, fix that later on. Um, so we need to add... Quite possibly there needs to be a little bit padding in here. So we should have set it up differently. Uh, let's go into our settings, theme settings, and then in our global settings, I want all my values to be rams. Saves me a lot of time. Time, and then we can refresh this page. And we can open it up. And then in the column, we can add some spacing of two RAM all around, maybe even more. Let's add four. I think that it, Gumroad even uses iDynamic spacing. Um, but let's go with this one for now. They also have two other images in there. They're floating. So what we can do is just go to the next section because those are details. So let's add afterwards another row. Row. And it is a one com layout with a uh, advanced text. Text advanced. Three. And then we go select this one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, and we set to center. Now we want the typography to also be a little bit bigger, as I saw, so it needs to be a three. That sounds about right. Then afterwards we add another image. Fonst. Media library, where's the dude? I don't see the dude. So I don't think this is available. So we'll skip that. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> There's our party member. So we add another container, I guess. Uh, we add another container. And in the container, we want the background to be uh, see yellow. And uh, border radius, not of the image, but of the and that means that we need to disable this one back. So that's a little bit of a bug. And uh, let's see. We go downwards border. We set a radius of, uh, I don't know, 5, 50. Yeah, that looks a little bit of right. Then we align, set the flex and align it to center. There we go. Oh, I really love this uh, chill vibes, by the way, from the music. And let's change the image size to be, I don't know, what is it, small? Yep, sounds about right. Now there's also some spacing going on, so let's add a little spacing in there as well. Add and to rem. And there's also more spacing going on there, so we add even more rems to them. <clears throat> Now that is also a section. So the next section are a two column layout. So let's add a row and let's add two rows, make them full width. There needs to be some way to automate it, but I can't think of a way of doing that. Now I don't want my content to be boxed. I want it to be full. Then we add a, uh, let's see, text advanced. And then we copy the contents of this one. And we change the size for the 
preset sizes that are available. I guess this needs to be gigantic, not gigantic like so. If you did pronounce it right this time, it is centered, so that's fine. And then we add. <sighs> it's bad UX that I can't see what if I'm copy and pasting it or not. But it's fine. I mean, I assume that they are not expecting someone to copy and paste their text, right? Let's assume that place bets. That's exciting. So in this section, we want the background color to be, let's see, pink. And this one was the darker pink. So we don't have that right now, but we can do something. Oh, let's see, like this, where is it? We select the column, then we go to background options, click our background, call the color picker, and we can grab a color from another side. So there we have that one, and I think this needs to be bigger. Oh, where is it? Gumroad. Uh, all the things open. I lost my Gumroad site, so there we have it scroll a little bit down there's some spacing a lot of spacing going on so let's add a spacing in here as well we add i don't know like five no not margin padding five on both of them and this one now also looks good actually uh, let's add the same kind of padding um let's go to damn it this one there we have another section this one don't want this to be open for now only makes me confusing uh at afterwards three minutes left Ooh, the pressure is rising well what we also could do is just duplicate the previous one run it hello tony how nice of you to join i'm in the middle of the uh what is it? The the Jamie challenge. So uh, you just uh, called me doing some things. Uh, let's add the image. Let's have a look. There we have this kind of guy, right? And here we have the other kind of guy. Image, advanced image, media library. There is our square guy. Here's the square guy. And now we need to uh, get flexbox and set it to align to center. And for this one as well, not the image, but the column. It's Rush Hour. <laughs> oh, that was a good movie, by the way. Rush Hour. You're my first, my last, my everything. Do, 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 do. Rick Damone Jr. Oh man, so many good memories. Uh, let's see and let's add that one and add a background color of yellow and then add let's see spacing and also padding about five right we did it so we could set it as a default padding but uh, yeah too, much, too little time i guess so there we go uh, next section will be a center section and uh, so we add Afterwards, let's just add rows, right? I mean, we're row, row, rowing your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to... Ah! Heading. That's, by the way, a reference to uh, Rowan Atkinson as well. I really love the guy. He's a very good, uh, good comedian. Uh, let's see. Let's put it in there like that. Set this to center. I guess this is set to center as well. And we can play around <sighs> because we used a different one. We need to add another text advanced in there so we can set it around. And then we don't have the size option in here. That would be nice. Uh, I guess that's not something people would like to have in general, right? We set a max width off. What is it? 60 characters? Ah, seems right. 
and then we need to set the spacing from left to right to auto now if you don't know how i do this you don't see it in here a little bit there's an arrow and then you can type in anything you would like to have uh, which is very good and one of the little things that it's just hidden away but so powerful just like these settings i mean oh this is amazing that this is just available right um let's add another button add afterwards slash advanced ah the timer is over so that was it i really loved doing this website recreation and the 30 minutes was enough pressure to just Keep me going now if you would like to challenge me as well for a website recreation in a different kind of tool let me know in the comments down below about which website and which tool i should use and while you're scrolling down there you can just as well hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on the recreation video thank you for watching and keep designing